Welcome to Fun and Games Side Quests. Every episode is a different host sharing a video game they love and why they love it. Hey everybody, my name is Brett, aka Jim Tasty, and I am a content creator uh, on twitch.tv slash Jim Tasty, as well as a member of the Shared Screens uh, podcast. And my game today is going to be about Dragon Age Origins. Dragon Age Origins is uh, one of my favorite games of all time. I'll never forget the first time I uh, got the opportunity to play it was uh, getting it for Christmas of December 2010. And so the game had been out for a year at that point. And uh, I was a huge fan of Mass Effect uh, 1 and two at that point, and a huge fan of the KOTOR series. And so I had known what Bioware, you know, I knew what they could do, but I just hadn't, um, for some reason, Dragon Age, I just missed my radar. You know, that's still, at least for me, I was, um, how old was I back then? 16 years old, 17 years old. So that was still an age for me where, I, um, and the internet at that time too, was just a different time of not being fully aware of, certain games coming out, even even for a franchise or from a developer that I was a huge fan of. But yeah, I got it for Christmas, and I'll never forget the first time I played it. I had uh, hurt my knee uh, playing basketball in high school, so I was uh, uh, recovering from knee surgery, so I was uh, on my bed for like three weeks recovering, and I will never forget that. Is, those three weeks was when I got fully invested into Dragon Age Origins. Um, obviously, uh, the game is phenomenal. It's yeah, it's probably my second or third favorite game of all time. Uh, I can't remember what the Metacritic is right now, but I think it's like a 90, 91, something like that. It's pretty well acclaimed. And yeah, the story, the world building, honestly, is second to none. I got enraptured uh, in the story and the world, uh, immediately booting up, hearing uh, the Duncan character kind of giving a little uh, speech on the state of the world and uh, the state of the current conflict that was uh, that goes on during the game. But yeah, the, the, the story is so compelling. It's not anything crazy. Uh, it's not anything uh, new, but the way they execute the story in Dragon Age Origins is phenomenal. And again, too, what really shines in Dragon Age Origins uh, is, is the writing, the writing of the characters. I mean, Duncan, uh, you, you know, no spoilers, but even characters that you don't spend a lot of time with still leave a lasting impact on the player, uh, I, to this day. Um, and then, yeah, you look at your party members, uh, Alistair, uh, Sten, uh, Morgan, Liliana, Ogren, uh, Zevron, uh, on and on and on. Like all these characters are just so iconic and are so unique and get you to buy into this world you know, more than, you know, you probably would have uh, on, a, on uh, you know, just average writing. Incredible post-launch content support. I mean, Dragon Age Origins has a massive expansion called Dragon Age Awakening. That is phenomenal. Uh, it has a, a couple smaller scale DLCs, Witch Hunt, uh, Warden's Keep, the Stone Prisoner, all these incredible DLCs that further add on to the phenomenal storytelling. And another big part, too, about Dragon Age uh, and what it what it endears itself to me so much is the branching narrative element. So with these DLCs and with the main game itself, obviously, the choices you make in the story uh, influence you know certain content that you'll see later on. So if you side with one faction or the other, you're almost going to get different kind of uh, a different kind of game, different endings, uh, different flavoring on. Uh, circumstances and encounters that you get later on that you wouldn't have gotten if you chose faction B or, uh, you know, you didn't have a certain item or whatever. And so that blew my mind back in the day because, you know, spoilers, but there's a certain part in the game at the end where you literally can influence, like, I don't even know off the top of my head. It's so many, like 20 different narrative choices that affect not only, uh, the, the rest of origins, but the DLCs, uh, the sequels, Dragon Age 2 and Inquisition, choices you make in Origins can affect a game that came out literally five, six years later. And even to this day, whenever they make the next Dragon Age, that's going to happen as well. And so, yeah, the, the branching narrative 
is so incredible. Uh, and obviously, I, I forgot to even bring this up at the beginning, but the origins aspect, going along with the branching narrative, uh, what origin you pick based on what, you know, gender, race, class, all this stuff can influence not only the beginning of the game, but elements of the story throughout. Like not even, I'm not even joking, depending on what class you are, depending on what race you are, things like that, you will get different lines of dialogue, different quests entirely. Characters will react completely different to, differently to you, depending on um, all these all these prerequisite background choices that you get to make at the beginning of the game. And yeah, the story uh, is incredible. I, I, I want to go into detail, but I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> yeah, there's just certain story elements that really make you pause and, and think about the lasting choices you make. Like I'll never forget my first playthrough probably spent 15 to 20 minutes just stewing on this one massive choice you had to make in origins on one of the main major quest lines. And yeah, so I'm not sure if I'm missing anything, but the, the, yeah, the gameplay is, is good. The storytelling is 10 out of 10 world building. It's 10 out of 10. It's so good. But yeah, I think that's all I have. Uh, you should play Dragon Age Origins if you haven't yet. Uh, and then two, Inquisition. It's just incredible world building, incredible storytelling, uh, incredible way to interact with a story. Um, unlike, you know, a movie or a book or anything, because the story reacts back to choices you make, which is so powerful. But yeah, thank you for listening and happy gaming. We've made difficult decisions. And there are still more ahead of us. Two people aren't enough to save the galaxy. We need the toughest. Smartest. Deadliest allies. We need you. We need you to join us. And listen to Reignite. A certain point of view podcast about storytelling. Love. And Mass Effect. Join us every other Thursday as we fight for the fate of an entire galaxy. You can find us everywhere you get your podcasts. Or at certainpov.com slash reignite. We're counting on you. We should go. CPOV. Certainpov.com.